I've decided I want to try and withdraw my complaint against Vasa. You should do everyone a favour and go back to theatre and leave Dio into someone who's earned it. You've shown me how easy it is to turn into a bitter, nasty, washed up has been. I've found you someone full time. Wait, you're not telling me. Afternoon, boss. Where do I start? What sort of job do you think you'll get if you don't finish school? No job, that's what. Unemployment's on the rise. You need good qualifications. Which you'll get if you put your mind to it. Look at your sisters. Bella stuck it out. Jasmine. Oi. Jasmine, what about your results? Jasmine. What? I bet you flunked. You were so busy studying the Bible at Angel's profile. That's it, isn't it? You did worse than me. Surely not. Oh, thanks very much. No, I just mean that Jasmine's never struggled with exams or coursework. Come on, let's see what you got. I still need to find my password. Well, take your time. I've got all day. Go on, then, if you're so interested. Oh, <laughs> you've got excellence in nearly every subject. Well done, Jess. <gasps> well, I'd be stoked. What's up with you? Well, I just don't want everyone to make a big deal out of it. It's nothing. Compared to what's happening with Luke, you mean? And what happened to your dad? It's all been a bit much, hasn't it? But that doesn't mean we can't celebrate your success, sweetheart. No, it do us all good. Lift our spirits. Yeah. I'm going to give Bella a call. I'm sure she and Luke will want to be in on it. I told you what a mess Bustle was. Is this really your solution? If she's working, she's not drinking. Then why not make her D.O.N.? That's her actual job. It'll keep her even busier. Vasa and I agreed that probably wasn't a great idea. Because of the complaint against her? That's been withdrawn. Since when? This afternoon. So there's nothing stopping her taking over from me? Well, it'd be too much pressure. You know what the gossip's been like. She'd get full on attitude. She needs time to settle back in. Her decision or yours? She knows I'm right. <sighs> Do you really think she's going to be happy working under me? I have made it very clear that you have my full support. She won't give you any trouble. I have uh, just sent to Mr. Daly in room two. He just wanted another pillow. I'll leave you to it. Now what? Why don't you get on with discharging Mrs. Parata in room four? OK, I don't need to remind you that I am a senior nurse. Don't you have something a little more complex? Take care of Mrs. Parata and then come back and see me. How was last night? Fine. I did the evening shift and then I went home and went to bed. No liquor past my lips. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Are you going to be OK? I'm looking for Nicole? Well, she doesn't seem very organised, does she? But that's not my problem. She's been grappling with a staff shortage. Now that's sorted, she'll be able to get on top of things. I said you wouldn't give her any trouble. Well, I'll do exactly as I'm told. You'll do more than that. You'll use your initiative and your expert knowledge to make her life easier or I'll think you don't appreciate what I did for you. Withdrawing that complaint probably saved my career. I'll never forget it. I don't want gratitude. Just cooperation, OK? OK. You better go. Nicole will need you. So it's true. You've withdrawn the complaint against Vasa and reinstated her. Not as director of nursing, but yes, she's back. Why? Why is she back, or why Why she... would you stick your neck out for a woman who crossed the line with a patient? A woman who drunkenly insults other staff members? First, there was no evidence that she did cross the line, which is why I withdrew the complaint. And as for drunken insults, we all make mistakes. What is this, some sort of alcoholic solidarity? I'll ignore that. Vasa is an excellent nurse. We're lucky to have her. Case closed. And I thought I was a good judge of character. Excuse me? When I first met you, I thought, here's a woman with a hard nose for business. A woman who will always put the hospital first. But it turns out you're just another bleeding heart who lets personal feelings get in the way of professional decisions. I've made my call, Seth, and I'll stand by it. Let's hope you don't fall by it as well. I know it's not Luke or Dad you're messed up about. It's that scumbag angel. Shut up! I don't want to hear his name. Yeah, me either. I wish you'd just get over him. Hey, still studying hard? Trying to. Hey. Ah, oh, this is my sister, Jasmine. Are we ordering or not? Ah, oh, nice one. It's real friendly. I don't mind her. She's in this I hate the world mood. Why? Because her loser boyfriend dumped her and ran off back to South America. 
Thank you, Evan. Why don't you just grab a microphone and tell the whole cafe? South America? Far out. You must have done something pretty bad to make it run that far. Hey, come on. Can't have been that tragic. I lost somebody who meant a lot to me. But I don't expect you to understand because that's never happened to you, has it? Depends. Does my dad count? Depends where you lost him. Down the pub, I suppose. It's so funny. <laughs> Jazz? His dad died. He just came back from the funeral. So you win the pity prize. Woohoo, go you. Sorry, dude. She doesn't normally like this. That's OK. No, I'm over it. There's something wrong with it. I knew that little heart-to-heart -heart was leading somewhere, but I never expected this. I don't believe it. She's dropped the complaint against Vassa without a word to me. Does she even understand what kind of message this sends to the rest of the staff? It's basically a free pass to jump into bed with whoever you like. No, there must be more to it than that. She must have found out the complaint was unfounded. Rubbish. She did a friend a favour, a drunken friend at that. That's why she kept you out of it, so you couldn't ask questions. No, Rachel's too professional for that. Meaning what? You're just going to let this ride? Well, what else can I do? Start challenging her. Look how she went for you over those funding proposals, accusing you of keeping the information from her. Now she does this behind your back. Well, she is the boss. <gasps> A boss with no moral compass. And you're her too, I see. If anyone's going to expose Rachel for the hypocrite she is, it's you. I'm afraid I don't see it like that. Really? When you came to me last week and said you wanted to move up the management ranks, were you serious? Yes. Then you'd better start acting like it. If Rachel makes business decisions for personal reasons, then you need to call her on it. Or be judged for failing to do so. I get that you're messed up, but why take it out on me? Or the olds, or Jared? What have we done? You know what? Stuff it. I've got my own problems. See you later, man. Later, bro. So this boyfriend in Gapta sounds like a dick. He's not. Angel's... Angel? That's his name. We were meant to get married. Till he dumped you. So why do you do it? It's none of your business. Whatever. We made a pact to be together before God. But then he decided he couldn't be with me. He had to follow his calling to be a priest. Oh, well, that's out of it. So he left you for another man, kind of. What Angel did really hurt me. But I realised that's only because I cared so much. Never again. From now on, I do what I want, when I want. And everyone else can go to hell. I don't think you're ready to take a walk on the wild side just yet. You don't even know me. See you around, kiddo. Let me guess, Seth Packers has been in your ear. Well, I have to admit, I was surprised to learn you dropped the complaint. If I'd let it carry on, it could have ended Vasa's career. And I'm not convinced she did cross the line. Shouldn't you have left that decision up to the nursing council? And let her drink herself into oblivion? No. Is that why you did it, because she was drinking? I did it because I think she's worth the benefit of the doubt. Nurses with her expertise are too valuable to just throw away. Not if they flout ethical standards, not if they decide... Hey, I know you've got no time for Vasa after her affair with Zach, but that's no reason to expect me to destroy her career. I'm not the one taking this personally. Neither am I. Well, some people think you are. Some people can think what they like. I've made my decision. There's nothing more to say. Hey, wait up! Where are you going? To borrow Chris's laptop. Believe it or not, he trusts me enough to lend it to me. Right, you live at Phoenix's. I know who you are now. So what are you up to, bad girl? Off to cause some chaos somewhere? You don't know me enough to mock me. <laughs> Come on, you're about as bad as Susan Boyle. You want to bet? OK, then what's the worst thing you've ever done? You'd be surprised. I don't think so, Sus. Hey! Oh, so you're going to throw a rock at me? It's not bad, it's just stupid. <laughs> now, what was that supposed to prove? Hey, give it up. You felt like a girl. You know, I only followed you because I thought you might want to have some fun, but um, forget it. You go and study. Make Chris and Rachel proud. So what do you call fun? Hanging out at the library, maybe steal a couple of books? Like I said, you'd be surprised. OK, sister. Surprise me. Oh, 
hey guys. Thanks for stepping in. I really appreciate it. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know my way around there at all. You're nervous, trubbing me. What's going on? Bossa is back from leave and a staff nurse, not DON. What, she's been demoted? I don't know the details, just that Rachel withdrew the complaint. No way. Now here she is. Well, when did this happen? Last night. She's freaking me out. Don't let her just keep doing what you're doing. Everything will be fine. I'd better get the show on the road. If I could have your attention, everyone, I'll quickly go through handover. Um, Emma, you're in room one. Kylie, you're in two. Vasa, you're in three. And Tiffany, I'd like you to give me a hand. That's all. Aren't you forgetting something? Such as? Someone needs to check the emergency trolleys. Of course. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, Emma, could you take care of that? No worries. That's all. Thanks, everyone. Um, Vasa, I know this situation isn't easy for either of us, but I hope we can make it work. Well, as long as both of us do our jobs efficiently, this shouldn't be a problem. Well, not for me, anyway. Oh, chilly in here, much? No, cow's life at the top. It'd be a lot better if she didn't have Vasa breathing down her neck. Those emergency trolleys. On it. Yeah, I heard Vasa was back. Not pushing you around, is she? I think her plan is to show me up at every opportunity and make me look totally inadequate. But maybe I'm just being paranoid. Oh, a little paranoia is no bad thing. Keeps you on your toes. But if she gives you any real grief, just remind her who's boss. It's you, by the way. This girl from school was raving about this place the other day. She got in with some fake ID and said it was amazing. Well, I guess amazing doesn't start until later, as in after your bedtime. Whatever. What would you like to drink? No shout. Yeah, all right. Seriously, what do you want? Ribbon and dry, but they're certainly not going to serve you. Hot these. How's your mate with the Agro Dad? Ola's in Hong Kong with the Agro Dad. Bourbon and dried vodka lemonade, please. Uh, could I please see some ID? Uh, it's okay, bro. I'll get this. Are you sure? Relax. GS here is legal, right? Right. All right. What are you up to these days? I'm a DJ. Work here. Cool. So, who's the other drink for? Oh, my friend Jared. Boyfriend? No way. You sure about that? <laughs> Definitely. Excellent. I get that she felt sorry for Vasa, but it still seems unethical. It is unethical. Rachel let Vasa off the hook without consultation with anyone. Oh, well, it's done now. The complaint's been withdrawn, and at least Vass is not back as D.O.N. She's paid some price. Only for as long as Nicole Miller can hang on. It's all part of the plan. Nicole cans out, Vasa steps back in, and it's business as usual, as if nothing has happened. You agree. Rachel has shown herself to be unprofessional and self-serving. Well, in this case, yeah, I suppose she has. Which is why she can't be allowed any sway over decisions of national importance. National importance? I thought we were just talking about Vasa. I'm sure you've heard. The MOH is giving funding to DHBs to develop one satellite hospital each. Yeah, about time. When central hospitals grow too big, they're just asking for an efficiency. So, the Ministry is setting up an advisory board in each area to choose the right hospital to develop. I'm the DHB rep on ours. Congratulations. I've proposed you as one of the board members. But they'll never take me. I work at Shorten Street. I've assured the chairman, Roy Douglas... In the ministry. I've assured him that you will be completely impartial. That you won't give information to Rachel McKenna or let her influence your decision. But I've got hardly any management experience. Well, I've got that covered. It's your medical and patient care expertise that we need. Well, I'm flattered, of course. Um, let me discuss it with Rachel. Well, it's got nothing and... to do with her. But she's my boss. <laughs> Not when you're being seconded by the ministry. You say you want to move up the managerial ladder. If that's true, this is the moment to start stamping your authority. Take it or leave it. This is better than studying, right? As long as you keep getting us drinks. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> hey, Jacob. It's Jared. You 
got any ID on you? Bar manager's getting antsy about you being underage. Is that right? Mm. If you can't prove you're 18, might be a good idea if you finished your drink and shuffled on out of here, eh? Jasmine doesn't have any ID either, bro. I can vouch for her. You know she's underage. Uh-uh. Way I see it, she's all grown up. Let's go, Jess. She doesn't have to. She stays ID too. Okay, no need to get all heavy. Oh, thank you for the drinks. You're welcome. Maybe see you here later tonight. I won't be a minute, Mr. Cox. Oh, Vasa, sorry, can I ask you a question? What is it? My patient has asthma. His sats are 92% on air. He's been charted salbutamol through a spacer, but I think he needs to use a nebulizer. What do you think? Nebulizer, definitely get the house officer to rechart it. I'll just check with Nicole. Uh, excuse me, I'm a senior nurse. I do know what I'm talking about, Kylie. Check what? If I should use a spacer or a nebulizer to administer salbutamol to Mr. Cox, he's 92% on air. I told her, nebulizer. I'll get it ready while you call the doctor. Actually, latest research suggests using a spacer is just as effective as using a nebulizer. Okay, so stick with the spacer. I'd give it a try. Thanks. Well, let's hope your little experiment works for the patient's sake. That guy was a neg. He bought us drinks. Only because he wanted to tap it. You think? You act like a bad girl, get treated like one. Exactly. There's my little overachiever. Hi, I'm Wendy, Jasmine's mum. Hi, Jared. Afiaki, he's here to see Chris. Oh, right. I'm so sorry about your dad. Thanks. So, what have you two been up to? Oh, we went to a bar, had a couple of drinks. Oh, very funny. Now, don't be late for dinner. Bella and Luke are coming, and since you are the guest of honour, I'm doing your favourite, chicken pie. Do you have to make such a fuss? Well, a mother is allowed to be proud of her daughter, all right? Whatever. Th hang on a minute. I know it's not pocket money day, but here, have this. Treat Jared to a milkshake or something, OK? See you later. Chicken pie with the family and pocket money day? Oh, you're a real rebel, all right? Hard. Congratulations. Four on being our spec lights saviour. We just got two new ones per department. Oh, I'm glad they came through. It's not enough, though, is it, when there are so many other shortages? We will take what we can get. <sighs> yeah, but if resources were managed better, if money was managed better, doctors wouldn't have to make do. They'd have everything they need right at their fingertips. Yeah, and all our patients will be happy, and our days will be filled with sunshine. Aren't dreams wonderful? Have you got an answer for me yet? How are you getting on? Well, it's been a long time since I was reduced to changing the batteries on a thermometer. But I'm glad to be back. It beats sitting in a bar, even if I'm not in charge. We both knew it would take a bit of an adjustment. But you'll get there. I will. Thanks. I really do appreciate your support. Well, I wouldn't have given it to you if I didn't think you were worth it. Is everything OK? Yeah, it seems to be. Kylie, how did you get on with your asthma patient? Well, let me guess. The space didn't work, so you used the nebulizer like I told you to in the first place. Actually, uh, Mr. Cox's breathing has improved, and his oxygen levels are up. I'm glad we tried the space, and there was no delay, and the outcome for the patient was great. Good call. I was just following latest research. Sounds like you made the right decision. Well done. Excuse me. Thanks, Wendy. That chicken pie was exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, you barely touched yours. I wasn't hungry. Can I have your toes? Sure. Come on, kiddo. We're proud of you. We're trying to celebrate your achievement. They're almost all excellences, I believe. That's an outstanding result. Mm. Hey, whoop de doo Jasmine. That was rude. It's all right. No, it's not. Apologize to Luke right now. I passed my exams. So what? If I'm supposed to care, I don't. This entire dinner is for you. No, it's not. You're the ones who wanted to celebrate, not me. You didn't even ask me what I wanted to eat. What if I don't even like chicken pie anymore? 
What if I'm a vegetarian now? Well, are you? That's not the point. Um, we should go. No, don't run off. Oh, we will if you don't mind. I've got some IV but work to catch up on and Luke needs this rest. And I've got a trip to plan. My bucket list. <laughs> right. Cool. Bungee jumping. Let's go tandem. <laughs> <laughs> He's just teasing. Anyway, if you're doing anything tandem from now on, you're doing it with me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something for you too. A few meals for the freezer so you don't have to cook. Jazz, can you grab them for me, please? Get them yourself. Excuse me? What is wrong with you? You've been a brat all night. Because no one cares how I really feel. All you go on about are my stupid exam results and the stupid dinner. Angel broke my heart. Doesn't anyone care about that? Of course we do. But you are not the only one dealing with things at the moment in case you hadn't noticed. I'm sorry you're still suffering a broken heart long after Angel went home and forgot all about you. Who says he forgot about me? You don't know that. It's a pretty good guess. Shut up. You don't know anything. Oh, Jasmine, stop it. You are acting like a little madam and I won't have it. I don't want to hear Angel's name in this house again. You won't. Not from me, ever. It would have been nice if you'd consulted with me, Sarah. You are my two, I see. Well, I had to decide quickly and independently. What can I say? Congratulations. Thank you. I know you'll lobby hard for Shorten Street to get that development funding. Only if we're the best option. For this initiative to succeed, the money has to go where it can do the most good. I know you'll all repeat the same mantra. Then someone will dwell on how much land St Cass has for expansion, way more than us. It's true, they do. While we have more modern facilities and our move into the private sector has shown how quickly we can adapt to change. Also true. It all comes down to how you sell it. Am I right? What are you doing here? It's late. I'm going back to that club. With your lame boyfriend? Are you coming? Oh, no, I gotta study, eh? The stuff I didn't get through today? Now who's being lame? Let's go have some fun. No, I just get thrown out. I've got no ID. I just get thrown out. I've got no ID. What a wuss. You see this whole bad girl routine that doesn't suit you, eh? Let's face it. You're a good girl. He gets good grades. Now go home to bed. I'd rather go to bed with you. What's the matter? Aren't you interested? <laughs>